This is Victoria Park. Situated in the west end of Glasgow, the park was created for Queen Victoria's Jubilee in 1887. It's known for its historical fossil grove, its ancient towering trees, the war memorial, the fishing pond and boat racing. This is Helen. My name's Helen Batch. I now live in Alexandria in Dumbartonshire, but did live in Whiteinch uh, for the first seven years of my life. We used the park very, very regularly with family, my mum, my brother, my mother, my sister and grandparents. And we came literally every day to the play park, came fishing at the pool, just literally played round right about the war memorial. Uh, my sister fell off the war memorial and was removed by ambulance to the hospital, so growing up at the park was fun. During obviously our years coming to the park, we used the fossil grove a lot. Uh, my son and his wife had their my wedding photographs taken down here. So, I mean, we did use it a lot and we did know quite a bit about obviously the fossils and things. The parks are so vital uh, to see the children playing today and that's the way it's been all the time. Uh, we came up very regularly to have the, the grandchildren, you know, roll their Easter eggs, play in the park. So, I mean, we still come to the park, even although we do live in Alexandria. This is Charlie. Hi, my name's Charlie McCarthy. Um, I'm Grew up in Victoria Park Street, which is just just there. It was the where the main gates were to the old um, the old park when it first opened. This park is interwoven throughout my whole life. Um, certainly, my early days. You know, I some of my earliest memories are from this park. People from Eight Inch claim it's the oldest park in the world, given that it's the, the fossil grove is part of us. You know, so it dates back you know, hundreds of millions of years. I also think that. White Inch Park has a potential role in the Black Lives Matter movement and the, the, all the statues that are about the city, what were called the Tobacco Lords, which were actually slave lords. If they could be, I'm not in favour of getting rid of history, but if they were taken down and taken to a park such as this from the Victorian era. If you came from the White Inch area, Scotston area, um, then this is White Inch Park. And we always only ever knew it as White Inch Park. And you came up here and you played all around, played in the Fossil Grove when you were very young. And there was a, a bar for tying up the, to tying up the, the ponies, um, which I fell off and thought I'd broke my back. I actually once landed on the back of my neck. If the economy is going to collapse like they're saying they are, just have spaces like this where people can go out and walk. They can enjoy their little bit of nature from within the city. This is Ian, who happens to be sitting on the number one bench, known from the still game episode Hot Seat. My name is uh, Ian, originally from Scotston, but now from Thornwood, which is near Partick. Well, I've been coming to the park since I was about seven years old, which is a long, long time ago. Uh, still coming to this day. We also used to be little kind of paddle rowing boats where you could go around the little island and they all had numbers. We were a bit wild when the attendant called come in number three your time's up. We used to blank her for as long as possible. There was a kind of pavilion and they had the model yacht club uh, and it was great to watch the big uh, yachts being sailed off a big kind of jetty type of thing. We used to take our own little boats and try to sell them also. Another fun place as, as kids was the Fossil Grove, which actually in the rock garden it was originally built apparently for educational purposes. When they were building the park, they were building a road and they discovered these 300 million year old fossils, which is quite incredible. Fossil Grove, a truly magnificent find. 300 million year old fossil trunks, 
During the park's construction in the late 19th century, some builders discovered fossilised tree trunks. originally apparently gifted the land belonged to a large family called the Oswalds. Gordon Oswald donated the big clock, which is still here to this day. The manufacturer said, here's the key and we'll guarantee the clock works for two years. Uh, I don't know if it's still working to this day, but it still looks good anyway. I think it's absolutely vital. And I think maybe during lockdown, people have come to really appreciate nature, the parks, particularly this one, and how important they are. Also, we're so concerned about the environment. It's such an important place just to get some clean, fresh air, like, you know, and just to be able to relax in nature, especially just now as the as autumn's starting to roll in and the, the, the trees are all changing colour and stuff. It becomes an absolutely beautiful park. I love Victoria Park. It's vital we keep Victoria Park in safe hands. We should have a duty as park visitors to look after this historical attraction. It's a wonderful, happy place for all ages, young and old. This is Victoria Park.